trolling now for about a half an hour. No luck. I'm making my way down to that creek that I was at before. I might portage into the next lake. I might fish the creek. We'll see what happens. I did get a pike in this little bay before too. Uh, one of the ones that got away from me. There's a nice big rock in front of me. I think I'm going to fish the side of it. No luck on the rock wall. It's all super shallow by the... Not even that it's shallow, but there's tons of rocks in the shallows. Like, it's not just a drop-off anywhere, really, on this lake. It's, it's very um, different than what I'm used to up here. I'm used to very deep lakes. It's just shallow and then very rocky near the shore. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, it's a pike. She's a good pike. Oh! Spit it. Man, that's a theme. That is a theme here. That's crazy. That was a big pike. Bigger than the one yesterday. This is, that was the second time I've casted and caught one this trip. The, all the other times it's been trolling, but as you all know, I've only got the one pike in the boat and that sucker. So this is a good spot anyway. Oh, it's an eagle, an eagle. He's going back for his food. <laughs> I bet you that's where the eagle was. All this bird poop too. Oh look, yeah. He's having a feast. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Fish pieces everywhere. Look, there are two. This is crazy. An eagle smorgasbord. Okay, let's go down. Um, let's walk down the creek, see what we can see. I'm gonna bring my fishing pole and my paddle on this trip through, yeah, through the creek. And then I'm gonna see if I should go in there and fish in the other lake. There's all the suckers in there, I can see them. Yeah, oh, uh, there's another one there. Oh yeah, yeah, it was definitely the eagle. Look, he's having a heyday. Turkey vulture. Man, there's fish all along the shore. Keeping my head on a swivel right now for bears. I 
I don't think it's necessary to be screaming the whole time, but keeping your head on a swivel, making a little bit of noise, can't be a bad thing, right? This looks like somewhat of a trail. I highly doubt people come back in here, so it's probably a game trail. Oh, birch. There's birch. Oh my goodness, look at this bear poop. Look at the size of that bear poop. Holy crap. That's a big one, boys and girls. It's oldie. Oldie but a goodie. All right. There's moose poop or caribou poop. Holy moose. I'm coming up to get some birch, Mr. Bear. Don't mind me. I'll be leaving in a minute. So this whole time I've been using lichen, an old man's beard for fire starting, which works fine. But it's nothing like birch. I'm gonna load my pockets with this easily peeled birch bark. I'm not gonna rip it off the tree, damage the tree by any means. Just this easily peeled off stuff. Bonus. Bonus birch. Coming in for some birch, Mr. Bear. This is a pretty cool forest. Oh man. Very hilly. It's nice. Look at the beaver chew on all the birch shoots. Here's a dead, here's a dead down birch. It's not gonna matter if I peel it off this one, right? Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, bud. Look at that one there. Get a couple of those. Those will go a long way. Cool. Thanks for the birch. Two eagles up there. Another fish. Another fish. Another fish. Another fish. Another fish. Okay, this is just like a spawning or something. Another fish. Oh, that's fresh. That's very fresh bear poop. That's from today. 
uh, that's from today or yesterday at the very latest. Oh, it stinks. Oh man, it stinks. Okay, fresh bear, fresh bear, fresh bear. Uh, you can see the full circumference of the lake. It's pretty small and pretty low. I can't catch anything here from the shore and I don't want to bring my canoe down through that creek. So I'm gonna head back up into the, the main lake I was in, my lake. It sucks. I thought for sure I was gonna catch something here. It's nice and deep. Like it drops off way better than the other lake. That's all right. All right, check this out. Big old bear print next to warm bear poo. Okay, lots of bear in the area. Barrier. It's a very, very, very area. Okay. Well, no luck on the fish, not here at least. So I think it's safe to write this creek off. I can't get out of here. It seems like the suckers that were here are dying off, moving out. And I didn't have any luck catching any fish in that other lake. If worse comes to worse, I will portage my boat over here and try and fish that lake, but not today. I, I still have options of pike in the other lake, so I've had one on today, like you saw. We'll keep trying that. Actually, looks like there might be a clearing up over this hill. My canoe's back that way, the stream's back that way, but let's go over here and see what this is. Looks like a clearing almost. Uh, just like a bog. This is wild over here. Like, this is a game trail. For sure. 100%. This is a cool forest. Okay, I gotta go get back into my lake and start fishing. Is uh, seems like the morning's my best time. <laughs> Monster pike on. I'm letting him tire himself out this time. I already lost one since I talked to you last. Look at the size of this guy. Yup, gotta get him in the boat now. I really don't wanna screw this up, but I really wanna get it on film too. Big. He's big. Nope, 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 nope. In the boat. In the boat. Look at the size of that thing. That's three times the size of the other one. Bam, son. Bam, son. It's a good sized pike. It's much bigger than the one I caught yesterday. I'm gonna get this guy filleted up. I saved that bag from yesterday. So put the fillets in the bag. I'll probably have some for lunch right now and then supper too. Cleaning the fish dank out of my boat. Look, that, uh, that pike had a little perch in his mouth. All right guys, money in the bank here. See, I got a ton of meat off that fish. My best fillet. Again, because it's difficult filleting them. My best fillet is this one by far. This one on the bottom. This is enough food for me for today. Maybe not for today and tomorrow, but for sure for today. So I'm gonna cook up some for lunch, cook up some for supper, 
just a repeat of yesterday. Look at that. That's a good amount of meat, guys. That's a good amount of meat for one day. Like, I like this whole catch a pike in the morning and don't worry about food for the rest of the day kind of thing. If this keeps up, I will be okay with that. Oh, my bird's bark. Get out from here. So, like I said, I saved the bag from yesterday. I cleaned it out. Stashed it near my food for the night time. Look at that. Man, that's a couple, that's like a pound. Oh, money in the bank. Show them what you think. The bush plane up there. Far away though. Very far. Hello. Well, I'd say that morning was a success. It's still only 9.30. I'm glad I got up early and went out and fished. I don't feel an urgency to go fish anymore, uh, today at least. So I gotta work on the shelter a bit. <clears throat> I gotta fix my bed and maybe add a back wall. I might go lay down for a little bit first though, I'm a little beat, pedal on against that wind. I was out there for a couple hours. Things are good, things are good folks. Successful recon mission. Food in tow. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, not only did I get that fish, but I got a good score on birch bark. Don't mind my butt wave. I had a good score on bir birch bark too. So everything's looking good. Easy fires. Stuff to cook on the fire. That hair is looking. It's been better. It's been better. Look at this receding hairline. Old Joe. Brat. I'm happy. I feel really content right now. Get alone. Really happy. Feeling good. Tired and thirsty. That's what I need to do. Get some water. It's a, it's a constant thing, like all day yesterday when I was just hanging out here reading or whatever, it was like boil water, boil water, drink it. It, it takes a while. It makes me appreciate a water filter, for sure. What I thought I was going to miss was the sleeping pad, and it's really not the case. Last night was the worst night, but it wasn't even bad at all. I only woke up a couple times. I'm still energized. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So this was my bed last night. I got my bows down, my sleeping bag, uh, compression sack, and then my Frost River bag. And then I had my coat there too, and laying all on top of that with the sleeping bag. And it wasn't so bad, but it was, un it was uh, uneven, it was lumpy, it was a bit cold. I am sliding down towards the, the fire, sliding down towards my feet, and it's fine laying on my back. But when I roll on my side, it's really not comfortable at all, and I'm a side sleeper. So, go back to my original idea. Yesterday, I kept saying I was going to make my bed this way. I don't know why I made it this way. Probably just because that's the way I, I was laying, uh, relaxing. So, I think now I'm going to move my bed, put it on, going sideways, try and find an even spot. If not, I will prop it up with logs and stuff, at least on the one side. But as of now, I'm looking right here. It's not bad. No, that's not bad at all, actually. Which way is better, but no, definitely the other way. Okay, so that's how it goes. My head goes here, feet go there, everything's comfortable. Yeah, okay, that's it. My head's here, so I know. My head goes there, 
feet down to there. All right, lots of boughs, lots of boughs and moss. And we'll call this a bed. See if I can just kind of move this like a mat and then add on to it after. Yeah, for sure I can. Most of it anyway. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough boughs. I want these big pieces of stick in there. I thought I could adjust it so much so that they were off, like away from me, but I kept feeling them last night still. I'll get double that or so for tonight and see how she goes. Adjust in the morning again. The trick is to like weave them in herringbone pattern so like the, the fat ends, the stalks are on the outside and stuck underneath the other ones. In this case, I can stick them underneath the moss and lichen too is a help but like I said earlier even if there is a little bit of a fat stalk on it you can almost feel it so I'm trying to get rid of those I'm trying to do this the best I can have a good night's sleep tonight and keep up my uh my fun times I'm feeling I'm feeling beat though like it's I said earlier I had a lot of energy and I felt good and stuff and then I went and did that paddle and came back and I'm beat like I think it's the lack of food like I know I'm still uh, I'm not I'm not going f without you know what I mean there's fish every day now almost but yeah except for the first day but there's not much in between that like I have oats for breakfast and then I had fish for lunch and fish for dinner yesterday but I am noticing like I'm, I'm getting very um winded very easily and I'm I'm having to take my time and do things slow, which isn't a bad thing, you know what I mean? But I do notice the lack of calories, I think. I'm having jerky snacks here and there, but I don't want to overdo that because that's like my my rations, you know what I mean? If I can't catch fish, then jerky is my, my actual meal, my actual meat that I can have. So it's kind of important to keep the jerky. <laughs> I need some substantial firewood. I'm gonna go cut down a tree I found over here near the shore. It's windy. Oh my. There's the dead tree there. I'm gonna have to try and fall it into the, onto the uh, land. Solid by it's gonna fall in the water. It's leaning that way. Oh man. This is good wood. You can see it's got a lean towards the water. So I cut the notch on this side. And I'm going to cut it with a saw on the outside there and it will with any luck fall inland this way the wind is blowing this way too so I'm gonna to have to fight against that too I made my notch down here I'm cutting above the notch to give it a hinge so it'll 
fall that way. She's coming down. This is dangerous. It's going in the water. Damn it. I can't fight it. It's going in the water. Come on. Go, 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 it's caught up, go, yes, it's not going in the water now, Woo! that was a struggle, that was a struggle. Okay, this is going to want to kick out, I got to be careful. There she goes. Woo! Almost a timber bra. I'll get her. I'll get her. She just hung up in that tree. But not for long. Right there. like I knew what I was doing. All right, this is some substantial firewood. It's hard to say, some substantial firewood, finally. I can, uh, Stop burning twigs for a bit. So come into play if it starts to rain any of these days. I'll save this. I'll bank all this wood. Eh? I'll stack it in my in my uh, shelter. I'll burn a little bit at a time. But even just these twigs that I'm getting off here are super dense. Really good firewood. So yeah, if it ends up raining for a day, I can just huddle, hunker down there. I don't have to worry about shelter or uh, fire. More money in the bank right here. That's what it's all about. Oh man, I gotta go eat some fish, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's some ants. Sorry, ants. Sorry, ants. Man, she's getting choppy again. Super windy. Super windy. So there's fat wood in those limbs, the ones right near the trunk, which obviously is not um, out of the ordinary, but I just didn't expect it. it smells really good. So I'm gonna make a couple shavings of this, split up some firewood, and uh, get a fire going and cook lunch because I am famished. Famished. All right, I made a little concoction: uh, birch bark flakes, fat wood shavings, and a little bit of old man's beard off the twigs. I'm gonna try and spark it right in here and then just dump it on the fire and put twigs on top. Just having fun, you know, just playing around. See how she goes. Well, look at that, it worked. Alright, lunch, pike backstrap. We're gonna cut it into little cubes, or bites, chunks even. And I'm gonna fry it up with some lard in my pot. I'm gonna use the actual pot to do it, not the pan, not the insert pan that comes with it. Because there's a little bit more than will fit in there, I believe. Man, 
I left the backbone on here. Hey? Yummy. Pike spine. That's my lunch. Melt some lard in there. Melt moss in there. I think I'll put a little steak spice and lemon in there before it cooks up too much. Ooh, that feels good in my cuts. Yummy. It smells good. It smells really good. I think I'll cook it for a minute longer. All right, guys. You know what? I licked my fingers after touching this and it tasted so good. We got a good amount of meat. Make sure it's fully cooked. Yeah. That's really good. The meat is nice and firm. It's so good. I have this much for lunch. Minus the piece I just ate. So you can bet I'm going to savor all this. Uh, this will be a good lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Pike. Just creating a little bit of a windbreak and a little bit of a barrier. My back is to the majority of the island, so if anything comes at me from this side, uh, it's just an open shot. I don't necessarily need like a wall, like a like a stopping wall, just something to rustle to get my attention kind of thing, or to deter from going on this side and come around near the fire. Anyways, all I'm doing is taking the tops of the trees that I, I've used already. So I've got jack pine and spruce, I just bunched them up in there. It's working out okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. That area is still open. I don't know if I'll put logs there or, or do the same thing, but I'm just working really slow. Everything I do, I feel like I can stretch out. You know what I mean? I think it's better that way. That way I'll, I'll always have something that I know I need to do. I'm not rushing to get things done. It gives me like a, like an agenda, like always improving kind of thing. Oh, well, am I getting smoked out here? Sorry. Always improving, always improving my situation and not um, beating myself up, doing it quickly and exerting a lot of energy. That fish was super good. I feel re-energized already. Um, I love the pike. I love the pike. Now I have something sturdy to actually wrap this around instead of just tying off the trees next to it in not the right uh, direction. I'm wrapping this good. I'll tie it off and I'm going to do it on the bottom as well.
Look at that, I'm growing my own little forest. Man, I am just exhausted. I felt exactly like this yesterday after I ate my fish for lunch then too. I don't know why it would make me tired if it is. I'm not saying it is, I'm just trying to understand why. It happened yesterday after lunch too. Maybe tomorrow I will try to not eat fish for lunch and see if there's a difference. I'm, I have to lay down. I, I honestly have zero energy at all. I'm zapped. Like, like I, I went and cut that wood and over by the water I just laid down and laid there for like a half an hour. I just laid there in the wind. Like, I couldn't get up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I felt this way after I ate a bunch of um, fiddleheads one spring. I've passed out for like two hours. This is how I feel. Same way. I've never, I'm not allergic to fish or anything like that. I'm feeling much better after just laying here for a bit, relaxing, just dropping my knife, doing that to the axe, just fixed up my camera gear and stuff. I uh, found a couple of extra SD cards, which is awesome, some 32 gigs. So I should be okay. Um, but it's super windy and the waves are kicking up. I think I'm gonna go paddle around the island. It looks fun out there. It looks uh, fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the canoe pretty empty so I can get around pretty good and put on my life jacket boot around the island. Not really fish, just go out and paddle. It's not so here. This could be interesting. I can't not bring the fishing rod, that would be dumb. was nuts. Crazy. I couldn't get out of here if I wanted to. I mean, I could, but holy, it'd be some big time work. I'd have to dodge dart from island to island with a heavy, heavy boat full of stuff. It's just crazy. Hope tomorrow is a little more calm. If tomorrow's Tuesday, it was supposed to rain on Tuesday, and I think tomorrow is Tuesday. I can't really tell. I just know this is the fourth day right now. Seeing as how I'm not going canoeing, I figured I'd make myself a permanent eating utensil. I've said this probably three or four times now. I got this super dense old spruce, and uh, yeah. Seems like the ideal wood around here to use for it. So I'm gonna split this down with my knife and uh, carve her up. Now I'm not a real, real good carver kind of guy. You know, I never really got into it. But I can make myself a usable eating utensil for sure. This 
This wood is dense. Super dense. Wow. Okay. That's why I want to use this for my permanent. So, it, you know, I can take stuff off of it to clean it off. I can just shave it off a bit after I eat. I'll leave it a little fat to begin with. Nice and dense wood. It's not going to get all rotted from being used. Okay, cool. And this is my beating stick. I want to keep this too. Use this if I need to. Batter up. Out of the park, bro. Out of the park. See, look how clean this wood is on the inside. That's why I want to use it. Look at this. It's nice. It's nice and smooth, there. being weathered forever. This is probably a super old tree. Hard as a rock. Petrified wood almost. My knife seems a lot sharper. I'm full, like, <clears throat> I'm forcing this down. I just boiled up the fish. I threw like a touch of vegetables in there. Like minimal, no rice at all. A little fish soup. But yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's filling. I'm I'm very full. I'm not hungry at all, at all. But I'm putting it down still. Oh, my scoop is working well. Happy to report. Look, it's even got a little bend to it. Whoop. Look at that. It's the best work I've ever done. I'm so full, honestly, like, this was perfect. I get to ration my rice now. No rice eaten tonight. I only ate a little bit of rice last night. So, I'm already up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, <clears throat> I'm staying here tonight. There's no paddling around. It's finally died down. The wind's done. Finally. It's 10 after 9. That was a lot of wind today for a long time. Here the loon. Got my firewood stacked up here underneath my tarp next to the fire. It's not going to rain tonight. There's no clouds at all now. There was clouds all day and that wind just pushed them right through. So I don't know if it'll rain tomorrow after all. <clears throat> tomorrow is Tuesday. I worked it out. I got in on 
Saturday or Friday? I think I got it on Friday. So it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yes, exactly. So tomorrow's Tuesday. Tomorrow's day five. So on the radar, before I came out, that was as far as I could see. And they said, chance of rain or something. Chance of rain. <laughs> Pie needles in my mouth. Um, so we'll see. It'll be a change of things, that's for sure. If I can tomorrow, I'd like to go explore the lake more. If this if this wind lets up, it just it's not even fun at all to paddle around in this wind. I went earlier, like you saw earlier tonight, and it's just like can't even do nothing. The mornings have been my only time I could paddle. Actually, I know. Sorry, at night, every other night I could paddle too, but um, the mornings were the fishing, the best fishing. I feel hungry after I ate that, like right away. I don't know what's going on. If, if there's not enough in the pike. You know what I mean? Not a, enough of what I need. But, me supplementing those little bit of vegetables and rice and stuff should be fine. I don't need to eat much, really. I am working a lot. So I'm expending energy. I'm probably not drinking enough water. In the daytime, I like after I eat lunch, I've been feeling like really, really tired. I'm just kind of like laying around. But again, I can't sound like I can go paddle around or anything. I'm sure all that will change. Being here for 10 days, you know, you're going to experience all every type of weather. <clears throat> Cold jack pine tea. There's no shortage of loons. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it. Alright, I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to try and conserve battery and SD cards. So, unless something interesting happens, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs>